All right, as far as the injuries go, um, Bolton, Hayek, Jones, Joseph, Reed, Tony. We're out, Tony's back is stiff enough on. Other than that, everybody practice. Had a good day. Bozeman uh, hyperextended his knee today, and we'll just see where it goes from there. As far as the play time for this game, we'll go the ones for a quarter, just ones for a quarter, twos for the second quarter, threes the third quarter, and the fours for the fourth quarter. And we'll just keep it at that. All right, time's yours. Just like uh, Russ, uh, for, uh, he came back. Again. He came back. Yeah, he just tweaked his knee there. A bit, so I think he's gonna be all right. <laughs> you have a long history with kind of John Gruden. He's been here for a couple of years. Yeah. Is there any consideration for like an advisory role or just a, a Yeah, listen, he advises a lot of people. So he, he's staying busy. Uh, it's not the, the grouse isn't growing under his feet, man. He's rolling. So um, I think he's just going to keep doing that. And, um, you know, hopefully he's able to get back in and get a head coaching job. And uh, he's a phenomenal football coach. Uh, and, you know, he. He touched everybody here, both sides of the ball, special teams. You got to sit down on those meetings. So, um, just a heck of a coach. What fun do you think it was supposed to be about the new rule, about the kickoff? Um, how did you prefer about the new rule? Yeah, so uh, Dave Tobe, our special teams coach, he's he's been practicing it since uh, OTAs. <clears throat> so, um, he's trying to find the things that you can do and, and that you can't do. So, it'll be, a, it'll, it'll be a bit of a learning process as we go, but... Um, we think we have a decent, you know, decent plan for it. Maybe yeah. Are there any uh, young players in particular, in particular you're looking forward to seeing uh, Saturday night? I'm going to play everybody, Adam. So um, all those young guys, I'd love to see how they compete. You know, uh, the higher the draft picks are going to be in there, a little bit better competition. So I want to see how they, how they handle that. What about Kingsley? Uh, Kingsley being one of them, yeah. So Kingsley being one of them. Uh, they'll be in there working, and uh, we'll just see how see how he does in there. But I'm anticipating good things. The initial roster showed the fullback slot coming back. What does that offer you all flexibility-wise? Yeah, so Steele, he's kind of that tweener guy. He's a heck of a running back. I mean, you see him out here running the football, and he does a pretty good job. What he did at Ball State was unbelievable. UCLA is unbelievable. But, um, you know, we can – we're kind of – Maneuvering around, see if he can do the fullback stuff, and it looks like so far he can. And then we'll just see. We'll see how the numbers work out. You gotta have special teams numbers and all that stuff. So we'll just make see how the numbers work out as we go down the stretch. Coach, uh, they announced today. The club announced that Harrison is resigned. You need to make some more money. What's he meant to you guys in his career here? Yeah. Um, well, I mean, obviously a lot. I mean, he's uh, he, he's been in huge situations for us and really come through and. His consistency has been great. You know, this won't this won't bother him because he's got that work ethic and he just sticks to it. Um, it won't be a distraction at all. Um, so, listen, I'm I'm happy for him, happy for the organization, and uh, he's acting a football player, great kicker. What kind of pressure was it for you to have a veteran guy who's been there and done that like he has in that spot? Yeah, it's been it's been a good yeah um, I like that. I mean, I like the field goal kicker. I like to have a little. Time under his belt, although we've done it both ways. Uh, but it's great to it's great to have the experience. And then at the level the level of experience that he's had is like crazy. So he, he's done it in, in huge games for us. Matt, coach, you know you defer to Brett on the contracts, but now that Harrison's done, I mean, there's going to be a lot of attention on Trey, Trey, and Nick as their next stop. How important have just those three guys in that draft class been? both in the past, but also looking forward to the future, trying to keep them. Yeah, um, that's the trick, you know, how, how, how you do keep them. So, um, that's Brett's, he's a magician in that. I'm, I'm just, uh, I'm just a spectator. But um, they, they've played so well for us. And, you know, you gotta, you gotta see what you can do with the contracts as they come up. All right, uh, Coach, just asking if Joe Tooney's gonna go, he'll be, he'll be in the preseason game. Uh, Joe will not. Last one, did you? Yeah, on, on, on that front, both of you, both the guys sitting out today, do you think you need them to see time? Um, I would probably say no. We'll, we'll see. I mean, we'll get it. We've got a few days yet. Sorry, Nico, go ahead. We asked this every year. I mean, you play Patrick in the first preseason game. You look around the league, a lot of guys just won't play. They want to bubble wrap their quarterback. And your philosophy on this? Or? Yeah, I mean, listen, I, I, I allow them to get in the swing of things. and. 
you know, the, the ones know how to do that. Both sides of the ball, they know how to go about doing that. And, um, you know, I, but somewhere you got to get on there and, and, and shoot. And so it gives them an opportunity to do that. Thanks, Coach. Okay.